it's Trina with Aunt T's Corner. I am coming to you because last night I posted a video stating that I was starting something new and it would be a book review, a movie review called Aunt T's Corner. Um, that said, I want to make sure that um, I am keeping up with this and putting books on there. So the i'm going to start with books and then movies so if you do have a movie you want to be reviewed uh hit me up and i will find it watch it i love movies so that's why i'm doing books first it'll take me a little bit but that said this is my first book review that i've done i'm about to post it if i can get my video editing to work right for youtube but um i am doing john flanagan and John Flanagan, his average age of readers is 10 and up. Um, I've been reading him since I was in middle school. Um, he is from Australia. He hoped to be an author, and he was really successful in advertising and television. And he began writing a series of short stories for his son, Michael, in order to get his son interested in reading and encouraging him to read. So um, you can find out more... Uh, from a world of John Flanagan.com to see all of his book series that he has published so far. Um, and you can also get his books from Amazon, Barnes and Noble, Books a Million, Bookshop.org, Target, Walmart. I'm not affiliated. I'm just telling you where to find these great, great books. So that said, I do want to, um, show the book cover at least it is kind of hard to see but it is called ranger apprentice the ruins of gorlon is going to be the first review this live is for going over who john flanagan is and a little bit about all of his series um i'm not probably going to be able to get through every single book on his that he's published I've read them all, but uh, doing a review, I go in depth and I put, you know, detailed information for parents. So that way, if there is something that they do not like, um, language, scenes, whatever, they can go to that page, find it, take care of it um, before their little one, young one, loved one, whoever it is, uh, gets their hands on it. So... That said, the um, book series that Ranger Apprentice, um, that was the first series that he had published. There is a backstory from the main character's mentor. That story is called Ranger Apprentice, The Early Years. You can read them in order, um, but it kind of gives stuff away from the first book in the Ranger Apprentice um, of who Halt is. So I recommend Ranger Apprentice, but to each his own. If you want to go in order, the Early Years series, the Ranger Apprentice series, the Royal Ranger, which is Will, the main character of the Ranger Apprentice series, his apprentice. Um, you can read those all three in order. And there's also a Brother Band series. And some of those characters actually show up in the Royal Apprentice and the Ranger Apprentice. So be aware of that. Um, they all interconnect. It's all the same world. There's a lot of books. So Brother Band has nine books. The Stern Chase just came out this year. And no, I haven't read it yet. It's on my to-do list. Um, the Royal Apprentice has another, a new book, book six coming out. Um, nine, yeah. September of next year, I think. Nine to twenty twenty three. Me and my monthly math here. Um, August, September. Yeah. Okay. And then Ranger Apprentice has 12 books technically, but really it's 11 books because the Royal Ranger in the end of that book series is the first book of the Royal Apprentice. So the Royal Ranger, you'll see it twice, but it is actually the first book of the Royal Apprentice. Um, and then the early years only has two. He's supposed to be putting more into it. Um, but so far that's the only two in the series. I'm not sure if he's going to actually publish anymore. The Ranger Apprentice series, I believe is done and complete because the Royal Apprentice is where it's really, you know, keeping up, um, with the brother band. So that said, um, the Royal, 
like I said, the, the Ranger Apprentice has 11 books and I am reading, I'm almost done with book two, um, and doing a review for that as I'm reading through it. But that's part of the reason why book reviews are going to take a little bit is because I'm actually reading through all of it and taking notes of, okay, on this page, this happens. Um, and then those will be Word documents on this platform on Facebook. Um, so that way you can see it and you don't have to remember what page did she say? Um, because, you know, adulting is hard and when you have kids, you can't always see what they're reading. So having the cliff note version, I'll take the time to read the books because I'm an avid book lover. Um, and I don't mind reading some of these books. Um, but we're starting with John Flanagan. We might hit Rick Rorden and Anthony Horowitz and Tamora Pierce. Um, those are the four that I've really been wanting to reread. So those will be the ones that I focus on at the beginning. But I have a whole bookshelf, like, stocked full of hundreds of books. Um, so if you have a book that you really want to review on, hit me up. Um, my email address is on this page. And hopefully you like and follow. Have a great day.